Well, how you doing, everyone? Maple Leaf Bush Crafter here. So, I thought for my very first ever video, uh, I would explain to you guys a little bit about my channel. Uh, explain to you guys a bit about uh, my bushcraft EDC, uh, what I carry, and uh, talk a little bit about uh, why I carry it. Um, you know, to get started off here, uh, I'm brand new to all this, but I'm not brand new to YouTube, right? Uh, I've been watching a lot of guys on YouTube for, you know, ever since I can remember, um, since YouTube really started, and, uh, I, after all this time, I thought, you know what, I know there's a lot of content out there, and everybody puts all kinds of bushcraft stuff out there, so some things that I do might be a little bit, uh, similar to somebody else's, um, but what I'm really going to try and do is, I've learned so much from YouTube, so I want to kind of put all my knowledge out there as well. Return the favor, give back to the YouTube community by, uh, you know, throwing out there some, some information that I've learned, some things that I've done along the way. Uh, and I really hope you guys uh, enjoy that. Um, I know my experience with YouTube has been pretty great, so I'd like to, uh, again, return that favor give you guys some information, some insight that I have when it comes to bushcraft and things like that. Uh, this channel is going to be, obviously, bushcraft, hence, you know, Maple Leaf Bushcraft. Um, DIY reviews, uh, things like that. And uh, I think we're going to start off with where I'm at right now. This is my, my room, uh, and this is what I call the bushcraft corner. Right here is all my bushcraft gear. Uh, and I see the beautiful, wondrous Canadian flag, and uh, we're gonna kind of get uh, started off in that in that area. So starting off here, guys, uh, my EDC, uh, but more importantly, my bushcraft EDC. This is what's in my pockets, on my waist, around my neck, uh, when I'm in the woods. I'm not gonna talk about clothing. Uh, that is ever changing. Uh, I know some guys, you know, say, well, what about your hat, what about your sunglasses? Well, yeah, you know, typically they're with me, but if it's cold out, I'm going to wear a toque, right? Or my hood's going to be up, or, or something like that, right? Uh, if it's sunny, I'm going to have a wide brim hat on, you know, things like that. So, everything in pockets, uh, around the neck, like a neck knife, something like that, um, or on my belt. So, start off here, you know, uh, always in my pocket, my keys now. Um, uh, I won't show you my big, the keys themselves because they uh, you can always make a, a key from a still um, but uh, you know USB uh, it hangs on a, a little clip like that a little brass clip number one clip no, yeah number one clip um, and uh, that just goes in the pocket clips in my left pocket I'm going to continue on the left side there. Let's so continue on with my, my left pocket. Uh, in my left pocket, I always carry a handkerchief. Yeah. Um, you know, if you got a bloody nose, they're good. Uh, you know, if uh, someone's crying or something like that, you know. Or if you start crying because you're watching... Uh, you know, a, a really good movie like Armageddon. If you haven't brought an Armageddon, Bruce Willis, like, gets your heart going, right? Right? But, uh, I could you have 100% cotton, great piece of kit, you gotta stop some bleeding, you can do that. Um, really, really important, in my opinion, is this. Okay? Uh, yeah, usually then my you know, my phone my phone is in front of you. Galaxy S8, piece of crap, uh, a joke. Um, I've dropped it so many times that that's what it is now. Broken like you wouldn't believe. But Galaxy S8, and I have an aluminum frame around it with a, uh, a thick rubber liner. Um, pretty decent phone, uh, all in all, it's pretty good. That's all I can say about that, I'm not a big techie. Alright, moving along boys, girls, and everyone else on YouTube, so, 
Moving into the right hand pocket there, first off, boom, pocket knife. Uh, it's this one here is an Olympia. I don't know the actual brand name to the knife, uh, except that it's an Olympia. I don't know what the model is or whatever, is what I mean. Um, pretty good knife. I'm not the biggest fan of serrations like that one, the teeth on there, but you know, it's a pretty good, I got like a big hand, so it, it fits my hand quite well. Um, every once in a while I gotta take my thumb, you know, and turn that side screw to, to fix it up a bit. Gives me a bit of a better knife. I am looking for a different knife, something that's a little more slim. Um, you know, it's a heavy knife, so maybe something a little lighter. Uh, and something that holds a pretty decent edge that doesn't have serrations. And I prefer to not have a drop styled Tonta blade. Um, but, you know, pocket clip's good, but it does kind of sit high over the pocket. I would like a more deep pocket carry as well. Just the environment we live in today, you don't like people looking at your pocket and going, Oh my gosh, he has a knife. I mean, it's just a knife. Calm down, right? Um, when you need that Amazon box open and you can't get it open, trust me, you're going to want me there. I'm going to be happy to help. So, there you go. Uh, just pretty straightforward kind of knife. Next off. My right pocket is this little guy right here. Everyone knows what this is. Swiss Army Blade Knife. I love this thing. I've carved so many things with it. I've opened cans with it. Uh, I've pulled splinters out. I've... Uh, huh. I've actually never opened a bottle of wine. I don't need to go buy a bottle of wine and just open it with the corkscrew. Because I've never done that. I've used corkscrews all the time, but I've never done that. How, I, I should just shut this video off now. How, how dare I? Uh, okay. Best thing about a multi-tool. If a multi-tool does not have this, there's no point having a multi-tool. There, there are three things a multi-tool needs. And all is number one. This thing right here, I've used it so many times. I've, I've bored holes. And I've uh, I, I made a pipe once. An actual tobacco pipe for here. Right here. I made this, right? And I actually carved that out and I carved the hole for the stem to go into uh, with this. And primarily, this is what I used. I used a Dremel to do the designs on there, the Tolkien design. But primarily, I use this. I think anybody worth their salt has to carry a Swiss Army knife. Personal opinion personal opinion, but I think that a Swiss Army knife is probably one of the best things to carry. It's small, it's, it's, you know, it's fairly slim for what it carries, and it's great. Another really important thing I think uh, uh, that every uh, multi-tool needs is a good saw. I actually won't buy a multi-tool, no matter what it is, without a saw. Um, I used the Gerber for a long time, it was issued to me, and it didn't have a saw on it. It had a knife, and it was a poor, poor knife. I was like, what's, what's with this, no saw? Like, anyway, but I always carried this, and I still do. And then of course, the most important thing I think, so third most important, the top three most important things, a good knife. I think if you're gonna have a multi-tool, you need a good knife. What I like about this Swiss Army knife is it has two. It has a small one. It has a large one. And I think that is incredibly important for a multi-tool. It also has scissors right here, which are incredibly sharp. Uh, the amount of times I've actually cut myself on these scissors is actually kind of funny. Good scissors, though. And... It's got a wire stripper here, bottle opener, and a flathead screwdriver. And a can opener, even smaller flathead. And you can even uh, use this as well to puncture uh, cans of soup and things like that, just to drink out of them if you had to, right? rather than open them up all the way. And then it also has tweezers, and fairly good sized tweezers, right? Yeah, good sized tweezers. I also keep this as clean as I possibly can. Uh, and a toothpick. I don't really use a toothpick. Um, I use...
screws, you know, with the dental floss things, with the little loopy things, it's got a little damn thing, you know, they hurt like hell, yeah, yeah you're doing it, you're like, man, I like clean teeth, but why am I doing this, um, also, what is this? I always wonder what this is. Is it for like picking up pots? Is it for tightening shoelaces? You all get your shoelace and tighten it? I don't know. I've never know. I, I've never actually understood what it is. I don't know. Let me know in the uh, comments down below, guys. What is this tool? Look at this thing. What is that? Looks like a shepherd's crook almost, right? Like. I don't know. Anyways. And then last but not least, it has this little piece here that can hook onto a keychain or dangle it. And I actually loop it when I go canoeing or, or, uh, uh, or anything like that. I, I usually put like some paracord through there and loop it up. Uh, and I even hook that to a ferrule rod as well. And that'll hang around my neck if I'm canoeing. Because you can survive a little with this and a ferrule rod. You're good to go, right? So there you go. Uh, every once in a while, I will... Sorry, guys. I will also carry this right here. This is a Rough Rider pocket knife. And to prove that it is truly a real Rough Rider. 440 uh, razor sharp stainless steel is what it says. But there you go. There's the Rough Rider logo right there. Rough Rider. Teddy Roosevelt, ladies and gentlemen. I may not be an American. But these are nice knives, gotta admit, right? Um, so, it has two blades on it, and they are indeed razor sharp. There you go, two blades. Yeah, got a fight here. So, you got two blades on it, just like that. That one and that one. Um, they kind of stick at a different angles as well. This is more of an upcutting angle, this is more of a straight. Um, and I, I love this knife, I really do. I bought it at a. Um, flea market and uh yeah really like this knife good knife all right next up well that was sad eh, there we go big lighter what can you say nothing better than a good big lighter um quick easy means of fire uh you know you even when the gas runs out you still have that uh spark and i took one of these apart recently I swear they put bigger flints in them. Like the flint was nearly the size of like my pink, the tip of my pinky. It was huge. I took it out because I had like I don't know how many picks. I mean, I just reach over here and boom, got another brick lighter. Um, but I took it out. I actually cut it in half with my pliers in order to uh, put it into my Zippo. But I actually started carrying mainly brick lighters over a Zippo lighter. And typically, I will actually wrap the handles in duct tape and things like that. So there you go. Big lighters above all. Oh, excuse me, guys. I actually just got off a night shift. Uh, every once in a while, I will also carry a pencil. Okay? Uh, it's just a regular, everyday carpenter's pencil. Just something good to have. You can write things down, mark like you're doing any kind of carpentry work or carving or anything like that. Um... It's kind of something good to have. And you can even shave the uh, shave it as well as, if you need to. Nice dry tinder. Alright, here's the big part here now. Everyone is probably going to be like, well, what about a bigger knife or a saw or something like that? A good bushcrafter, in, in my humble opinion. Um, from, from everything, all the research I've done, all the work I've done myself. You know, I'm in my 20s and I've been hiking, canoeing, and bushcrafting all my life. There are three knives that I use above all others when I'm in the woods. Now, I don't know the names of all of these, uh, like, brand, I know the brand names, I don't know, like, their, um, model number or anything like that. But this here is my, one of my favorite Mora Bushcraft knives. Um, this one here is made in Sweden, and it's a high carbon steel blade. And this is it right here. I love this knife. Uh, I've, I've batoned wood with this. I've carved wood with it. 
Um, I've done bushcrafting. I've cooked and cut meat and things like that with it. I love it. I put it into, or if I took the sheet that it comes in, I've uh, done up a bit. I've two ranger bands on it. I have one up here, so that when that goes inside, I can actually put the ranger band over it. And if it were to start coming out, it grips on that piece of duct tape there. It has Gorilla Tape wrapped around it, duct tape, and electrical tape. Plus, this is um, paracord that has like the two lines, a fishing line, the sewing line, and then the rest of it is just the inner strands. And then on the side of it, I also have a ferro rod, uh, which works great. It's just a, it's, it's a cheapo one, but it is a great ferro rod. Uh, and that goes in there, and then I just put the Ranger Band over top of it. And that holds everything in place just like that. Love this knife. I've carried it in a neck knife conversion. I've carried it on my belt. I've carried it in a dangle. Great piece of kit. This one here is the other Mora bushcraft knife that I use. Um, again, paracord, duct tape. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty beat up. I use this a lot. Um, and it's got a pretty great patina on it. I also really, really like this knife. It's a great, great knife. Uh, it's also a high carbon steel blade. Um, and it is just a beautiful cutter. And I've used it so much. And it is still razor, razor sharp. I think the tip of it is a little dinged. But again, great knife. I've also carried this in a neck knife. Can uh, carry. I've carried it on my belt. I've carried it all kinds of different ways. Uh, the only thing that I'm a little worried about right now is down in here is starting to get a little weak. The plastic is start, starting to um, brighten a bit and uh, turn a little white. I think it's because it's starting to kind of bend a bit much. But, great, great bushcraft knife. Last but not least, uh, my mom and dad gave me this. This is by far one of my, my most treasured possessions in my bushcraft kit. This is a number two Canadian Russell Bell knife. It is a beautiful blade, and I carry it all the time, especially when I'm canoeing. The blade itself is a beautiful design, some very fine jimping here, but that really grips in your hand. The lanyard on it, most people, I don't really prefer lanyards, but with this knife, it just works. It just feels good. Uh, it holds a beautiful edge. So you can see right there, it says Canada on it, right there. And then on the other side here, it does say number two, Russell Belt Knife. Okay. Uh, Gorman DH Russell, number two, stainless. Beautiful um, wood scales on it and some brass fittings as well. Give you guys a bit of a look at that. Yeah, like that, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful blade. And, uh, yeah, it's great. Um, beautiful, beautiful piece of kit that I really would enjoy. So there you go, guys. Uh, really? That's it. There's not much else. I do carry a belt kit like a little belt kit which i will go over later um and it's more like a sporn uh and it works really well in conjunction with a scottish dirk that i sometimes use but for the most part this is what you would you'll see me using in future videos uh if something else new comes along i might you know do a review on it see what i like everything that i carry with me that you see right here i use um and if I'm carrying my Russell belt knife, well, this is probably going to go in my bag. And if I'm carrying this, then this is probably going to go in my bag. Or that's going to go, or vice versa, back and forth. Um, but typically, I always carry at least two knives on me. Two good bushcraft knives. Um, and then hatchet, tomahawk, or um, a saw, or all of that, right? So, that's basically what you're going to see from now on. I'm not going to make this video too, too long. It's a brand new video for me. Um, you know, obviously brand new to the YouTube community and everything else. Please, guys, like, comment, subscribe. 
Um, let me know what else you guys want to see down in the, in the uh, description. And I'm going to work my best to uh, fulfill uh, what you guys are looking for. Um, you know, you guys want to know more information about my channel, things like that, please ask away. Um, I want this channel to be open and uh, I want people to feel, uh, you know, like they wake up in the morning and be like, you know what, today I'm going to watch you know, Maple Leaf Bushcraft, see what this guy's doing, uh, see what that crazy Canuck is up to. Um, but yeah, please guys, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for your views. Um, and thanks for watching. Be strong, be proud, be free. You guys take care now.